Hey everyone, it's Reverend Adam again. Wanted to share with you my essential oil distiller today. This is lab glass version that I'm using and it's the vertical version, okay? Now, I have it on a hot plate already. The water was actually clear when I started, but the um, stuff from the plant that colors the water will drip back down and color the water. Um, don't quite remember the name. If I'm wrong, then tell me I'm wrong or something, but I think it's chlorophyll. Now, um, when this boils, the steam will rise and it'll go through the plant material. I'm distilling some juniper berry today. Once it goes through the plant material, it'll keep rising, carrying the oils from the plant through the still head and back down through the condenser. The condenser is uh, two tubes. One is the outer tube and one is the inner tube. And uh, water is pumped in and out of the outer tube to cool down the steam from the inner tube. Once that steam cools down, it'll drip down into the separatory funnel, which is specially created for distilling essential oils and separating oils from uh, water. Now, most of this is water here, but what you'll see is a very thin layer of oil starting to appear on top of the water. And some of oils that are a little heavier um, will sink to the bottom, depending on what you're using it to distill, uh, what kind of plant material you're trying to work with. Now, what it does is it'll drop out your hydrosol, or, you know, better yet, layman's term, the uh, scented water from the side here maintaining the oil on the top so you don't lose any of your oil and you can just put something underneath it to catch your hydrosol which is good for soap making and other things now you also have um, a stopcock here and that's the technical term for it what this does is it stops it when it's closed from dripping out this end okay but when you want to separate when you're all done and you want to separate that oil from this water you pour out most of the water that you couldn't uh, come out of here you pour it out this bottom part here once your oil reaches right about where the hole is on your stopper okay that's when you want to go ahead turn your stopper back into the position it's in now and pour out the rest of your oil from the top this will probably make sure that you don't get any water inside of your oil some people like to pour just enough to where you get the oil inside of the hole on the stopper and then close the stopper so you get mostly oil and no water whatsoever but thank you everyone for tuning in and watching uh, today's video. We actually are just showing you how this is all working and uh, how we make some of the products that we make. Now this is hydrosol. We don't um, you know, sell the hydrosol just yet, but it can be made on special request if you'd like. Um, but we can do rose water, different things like that. But we use the waters and the oils that we make in our products, like their soaps, our bath bombs, stuff like that. So please don't forget to check out our website. It's howpsychic.com, and I'll post a link to it on the bottom of the description.